Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another tour at the Hershey RV Show. And this tour is a brand new floor plan from Grand Design. This is the Momentum G-Class 415G. Brand new floor plan, let's go check it out. As we go up, already have the safety rail installed. Absolutely love the safety rail. And this is going to be your living space. It is spacious, three separate seating areas. So you have three different sets of theater seating, heated seats, cup holders, all right around your big living entertainment space. So you're gonna have your fireplace here, big screen TV here, tons of storage up there. And what I love about this is there are windows on both sides of this rig. So you're gonna have your windows here, your sliding windows here, and then over here on the utility side, you're also gonna have a lot more windows over here too, bringing in a lot of natural light. A lot of times with toy haulers, you're not going to see that. So huge living space here. You could even, you know, remove one of these here or even here or on this side, whichever side you want and put a desk in and make it a full working space if you needed to. So moving on, we are going to move over here to the kitchen area. So this is, I know what this would be for us. This would be our catch-all counter, as I call it. Basically, whatever doesn't have a spot is going to go there. Plenty of storage space here, tons of cabinets. Tons and tons of pantry space here. Soft clothes, I love it. Let's do that again. Oh, I love the soft clothes. Huge Norcold fridge. I love the freezers in these things. I mean, you got top and bottom freezer, handles to easily open up the fridge. That way you don't have to get those stainless steel fingerprints all over it everywhere. And this kitchen is what I love. I, I love this U-shaped kitchen. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I call it. I love all the counter space here. You have your three burner stove right there, large kitchen, dishwashing area, and you do have that natural light coming in right there. And then look at all this, look at all the cabinet space here too. Tons and tons of cabinet space. I mean, I don't even, I don't even think we own enough stuff to fill up these cabinets and they go deep. Cabinets up above there too. Furion microwave. Uh, looks like just a microwave, yeah. But you do have the small oven down here. So this is a toy hauler. So let's move into the 14 foot garage. Um, let's check this space out. Okay. So you have your seating here. That's going to obviously fold out into a bed. You do have your bunk up there. You can lower this down. You can use it as an office. Uh, you have your dog bowls right there, ready to go. Tie downs here. You do have this half bath back here. Now, um, it's not the biggest, but I could fit. Um, it would be a little tough, but there is a large bathroom upstairs. Do have backing for a TV right there. Here is your rear entry and exit door. And because we are at the RV show, there is not enough space to put the patio doors down. So let's head on upstairs and let's check out the bathroom in the master bedroom. Bathroom, I mean, this shower is huge. You can easily fit two people in there if, you know, that's your thing. I like the towel rack right there, the towel holder. That's clever because there's not always a good place to put the towels. Plenty of storage space here for a bathroom. A sink that you can actually wash your hands in. Look at this, look how deep this is. You can actually wash your hands in this sink. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love the way the toilet is angled. So you're gonna have the double doors. You're gonna have your main door into your bedroom and you're gonna have this sliding door that can come across here. Again, large window right here. Massive 
side tables here and plenty of storage in here one here you got your own cabinet here you got this space up here you do actually have uh, a little cabinet here a cabinet there and then plenty of space for clothes big cabinet there closet I'm sorry not a cabinet that is a closet another large closet there And you got the storage down here as well. And then finally, you are going to have your under the bed storage. So tons of storage, tons of places to put things. Brand new floor plan. I love it. It is very bright in here. So the backsplash here is white. These walls, these are these, you know, textured kind of RV walls, but they are basically white. It's not white, but it's as close to white as you're probably going to get. So super bright in here, super light, super modern looking. We do have the loft up here. So not huge, but you could use it for storage, definitely. So now let's go outside and let's check out the storage on this, which is probably where most of the comments are going to be. So let's head on outside and check out the outside. Now for being a big toy hauler, the outside storage is going to be a little shocking once you see it, but it is because of the build of the RV. So this is your outdoor storage bay here. It is not very large but this is why you have a toy hauler. You have a 14 foot garage to where you can store a bunch of stuff. And like I said, it is because of the build of this RV. And around to the front storage area here. So we do look like we are solar inverter prepped here. Uh, this does have the onboard inverter technology and quieter. So anybody that's ever ran a generator knows that they would love to have quieter technology. And let's see the other side of that storage here. So you do have your water hookups here, cable hookups. And this is, this is it. This is where your storage is on this side. So like I said, small storage, but it is because of the build of the frame of this RV. But let's go take you around the back side of it because I can't get to it this way. Your rear entry door, you are going to have uh, two awnings here. You're gonna have an awning off the back door, awning off the front door. This is your patio slash garage door here roof access right there and this is your onboard fuel system so we are looking at triple axle here it is uh so we have the more ride cre 3000s and this is the uh, lipper ground control 3.0 which is the electronic leveling system here. Um, if you are looking for hydraulic, this may not be the one for you, but as somebody that owns a solitude with the electronic leveling, it does what it needs to do. The thing I did skip here was the washer dryer hookup. So let's go snag a quick peek of that, entering through the rear here. Your washer dryer hookup is right here. Right there is your center line for your dryer. So that's gonna be it for this review of the brand new Grand Design Momentum 415G. So this brand new Grand Design Momentum 415G is going to come in at just under 45 feet. So you're looking at about 44 feet, 11 inches. You're looking at a dry weight of about 15,000 pounds and a hitch weight of about 3,400 pounds.
Cargo carrying capacity on this is going to be about 4,500 pounds. So plenty of weight, even with a toy hauler and all that storage, you can easily fill this up.